called. Very crisp morning. You can see my breath. It's about 40 degrees out here. We've got frost on the kayaks. Sun starting to come up. It's nice and toasty in the van though when you wake up and you lay in bed and you just reach your hand up and you flip the switch on that furnace and she fires right up and heats that van up in no time wow we're the only ones out here so beautiful It's a little cold. I'm going to have to get this other fire going. And get a shot. Whoa, look at that go. <laughs> Instant heat. Oh, feels good. Right away. Woo. Tell you what, your fingers go numb pretty quickly. Just my chair's a little wet. Ooh, look at that frost on there. So I think I'll just stand next to the fire for a second. Yes. Nothing like instant heat. Wow, we're really enjoying our time here. It's such a peaceful, beautiful place. This is what we really love. The first rays of sun coming over the ridge. Crisp morning. Kim's doing her stretches and by the river. Another start to a beautiful day. What do we have here? A little bit of steak and eggs and wow. hash browns and English muffins. Steak, eggs, <laughs> English muffins. Wow. Fantastic. Sit down here by the fire. Oh man, this is living by the river. <laughs> <laughs> and what do we have? Oh, here? you don't have. <laughs> <laughs> what kind I of just, what kind of rabbit food did you make for yourself? I just have an egg, some hash browns, and, and a little av avocado. <laughs> oh, okay. She always has the rabbit food, <laughs> but I eat like a caveman. <laughs> Pretty much. All right, let's dig in. So we're getting ready to go hiking. Let's take a look at our packs. Let's see what we carry. Well, first of all, let's look at your pack here. Yours is different. Yours doesn't go over the shoulders. I have a hip pack mm -hmm. uh, because it's just easier to not have the weight on my shoulders. And it just feels better to me. So my pack has two... 32 ounce bottles, so 
64 ounces is a good amount to take for me to take for hiking because I do drink a lot of water. And let's make sure you have, and he has it actually, an 80 ounce bladder that will fit inside here. Okay. And so I, it's kind of cloudy today and we're hiking up, so I decided that I needed a, an extra jacket just in case. And that just attaches to the back of my pack really nicely. And it stays out of the way. And then I have rain gear in here in case it rains. So oh, you rain. always carry rain gear. Always we, carry rain gear. We never go anywhere without rain gear with us all the time. And then if it gets cold, you you have a little nice little neck warmer. Yeah. It'll go up over your nose. Mittens. And uh, headlamps. Headlamp. Because you never know when we're going to be out later than we thought. We love to hike at nighttime too, don't we? And then on the inside here, I have a, a little compartment, you know, that has band-aids in case you get a blister, uh, nail clippers, tweezers in case you get a... Oh, I found some money. <laughs> that was a surprise. <laughs> tweezers in case you get a sticker, and believe me, I have used that. You got some carabiners uh, and a knife. And There's a knife. a knife right there. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's that one. So that's like your little survival kind pocket of. there. And then in here, I have sunscreen, hand sanitizer, uh, some homemade mosquito, mosquito repellent. repellent. Um, in case we get a headache, I have some ibuprofen in here. Okay. And then there's these little... It says TP on the end of the cap there. <laughs> Uh-oh. you got to tap it on a rock or something. All right, it's a coming. <laughs> <laughs> um, we might have to show you one out of your pack. Oh, here yeah. it comes. So this is, uh, this is hiking toilet paper. So it comes oh. like a little coin. It's all compressed. And then you just add a couple of drops of water, and then it opens up into a nice little... Wipey. <laughs> <laughs> and it's good for wiping your face when you're hot. And remember, we gave that uh, mountain biker yeah. one in uh, Sedona. Yeah. He was he was not feeling good. We gave it to him, and it made him feel better. Okay, okay, so, so now me, you're gonna put me, what what food are you taking? So I have good hiking food. Is good, you know, stuff that's gonna give you some good protein and good calories. So. I have mixed nuts. Okay. Some jerky. All right. Um, I have an avocado cheese and hummus sandwich. Okay. <laughs> I have some edamame. Edamame. Some carrots. Carrots. And an apple. And this will fit. All right. So she's gonna she she can get and there's a lot more in that pack than what she even showed you in some of the other pockets. <laughs> It's amazing how much you yeah. get inside that thing. Yeah, and with the full water, it's a little heavy at first, but... Is that it? It's good. Look at that. You got all the food in there? Yes. And then... Organized. Okay. So with Jerry, he has a regular over-the-shoulder So I have a, back. I have a Camelback. Um, Kim, uh, when the, the shoulder straps weigh down on her shoulders too much uh, over a long day. I mean, we hike you know, good distances, and so it, it hurts her. So that's why she got the hip pack. And we'll show you putting that on her and um, what it looks like and all that. Okay, so I have a regular Camelback. It's easier to put the water in first. Okay, so this is the part that goes along the back. So you want to make sure that this isn't on his back because that would be uncomfortable. So you slip it in this direction. And when it's full, it's a little bit of a tight fit. But Now, this bladder wasn't designed for this particular pack. This is a much bigger bladder than um, originally designed. All right, this little yellow thing keeps it from sagging in. And then this comes up over his shoulder. Okay. And zip her in. So it does right. bulge here, but I like to take a lot of water. 
And then I've got my little standard camel back bite bar. It's a little dusty, but... <laughs> All right, okay, so. now what do we have in my pack here? Let's take a look. I'm stuck on something, all this. Oh boy, here we go. All, all right. right, so he also has things to keep him warm. Ear warmers, face warmer. Way we were in a here. we were in a snowstorm a year ago down at Fossil Butte, <laughs> mm -hmm. hunting fossils, and uh, this. Uh, sure could have came in handy that day. Boy, that wind that wind and the snow is hitting us right in the face. So, uh, again, rain gear. Um, there is mosquito repellent. There's also... Uh, way down in there are uh, luminous, luminous sticks. The... You break the stick and it glows for hours. And then safety gear will be this Garmin in reach so that we can contact emergency services by satellite and even talk to them, texting them, telling them that we have an issue. That goes uh, upside down to protect the screen. Yeah. There you go. We also have uh, in each pack in mine and in Kim's a, an additional satellite communicator um, I'm trying to remember the name uh, ACR uh, link and it's down there in the bottom I'm not going to dig everything out because everything's packed tightly in, in its place in there so we'll put this in reach in there um Put this in there, this in there. This is, I'm not really packing it very neatly. And then in this pocket, got a whole bunch of miscellaneous stuff. There's your other mask. All right, so a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. We got signal mirror. That floats. Uh, flashlight. Flashlight backup battery to recharge cell phones or whatever. Make sure it's charged. Oh, and his toilet paper holder works a lot yeah. better. Here's it another just slides version out. of the toilet paper holders. Tissues, batteries, uh, stuff for in case you get a blister on your foot, band aids. So, and yeah, here's an Aluma stick light stick right there uh, a knife so a lot of good stuff in there and uh, charging cord for the phone make sure you got the proper charging cords for your different pieces of equipment Okay, so now we're going to pack, what do I have, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich? Yeah, peanut butter and jelly for your protein. He likes a little salty something, so I always put some crackers in there. And some beef jerky. Beef jerky. A lot of beef jerky. And he likes grapes. Grapes. And then, you know, we can share between us, you know, if he wants some nuts or carrots or anything like that. We can yeah. kind of, you know. I'll share it with forth. you. And a napkin, and then we try and get her zipped up. Yeah. Sometimes that's tough when you first start out, but... Well, I didn't pack it that efficiently. Here is a little ground tarp that we use when we find a nice little overlook to sit. We Have can just picnic. lay out the ground tarp uh, and a hat. And these are our safety straps. See if you can just kind of open that up. And Sometimes we're in some very dangerous ledges situations where I want Kim uh, to be safe. And so we have this little strap that I can connect the two of us together. Um, or remember when we were hiking Sedona in the snowstorm when we climbed up to the Indian Cliff Dwelling? And yeah, you had to pull me up. I had I pulled her up these snowy steep slopes and 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 when we went back down I lowered you down with these straps and we've got carabiners uh, also that we can use to uh, 
connect the two of us. So these are what I call our safety straps. And then a, a jacket. So I've got my jacket and my rain gear uh, inside the pack. So it's enough to keep us warm in almost any weather that we've encountered so far, even in very, very heavy snowstorms. And then last but not least, oh, oh, but we can't forget this. Bear spray. Bear spray. And there's some uh, blonde hairs on there. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, this is uh, especially when you're in a state that have bear, we always carry this. Yes, and we carry three to four cans at a time. Sometimes Kim will carry two. I always carry two just depends on mm -hmm. how she feels on how much she wants to carry and then at this time of the year it's hunting season it's hunting so season we don't want to be caught up there and think that we're game so, so we, we could attach these to our packs so don't necessarily have to wear them um, I'm just going to attach mine to my pack so it's visible but very important that you wear this around hunting season to help the hunters out Okay, so with that said, I'm going to load you up, you load your pack up, and we'll see what it looks like. Most of the time, I help Kim put her pack on, but she can do it herself, so... I have a rock or a bumper her, or something like this. Here's what it looks like. Look at your little safety whistle right there. Yeah. Okay, so she's going right, to so put the shoulder strap on. I will show you what this does once I get it on. I think I'll start on my left shoulder. Okay, this is already adjusted to my size, so I can just uh, prop it up on anything and then I can put it on here. There we go. Okay, so you'll notice that it kind of leans down. It sags. So the shoulder strap will cinch it up as close to my body. You'll notice that it'll, it'll start going towards my spine more. Yeah. And then I keep this little uh, seat belt cushion thing on here so that it's a little more comfortable. And then so it's fine. This is different. It seems it might seem like a, a, a pain to some people, but it's really not. Once you oh, no. take it's, it off and put it on a couple pretty. times, it goes on quickly. Yeah. And she doesn't have that pressure on her shoulders yeah. that you do when you're wearing a regular pack. And then for me, I carry my bear spray right in front. And just connect it. This. And then if I need it, I just pull it out of the case. Well, there you go. Okay, great. I'm going to get my pack on and we'll start on our way. All right, time for me to put my pack on. It's a little heavy today. Right here. Around like that. Okay. I like my tube to be held. <laughs> That's, uh, we'll have to edit that out. <laughs> All right, and then I'll just, uh, now, uh, something that a lot of people don't think about is where you're going to put your bear spray. So I put one bear spray on my belt on my hip right here, but my primary bear spray is going to be on my chest. So I'll just, we just have this loop right here. Clip it like that. Now the bear spray is right there on your chest. Now think about it. So a lot of times uh, when people get in trouble with the grizzlies because they surprise the grizzly, they walk up on it, they're very close. And so if your bear spray is only on your hip, the, the thing that you're going to instinctively going to do when, when a 
a grizzly is just right there on top of you is you're going to go into a fetal position. You're going to get on the ground and and you're going to be like this. Well, if your bear spray is only on your hip, so you're like this and you're going to grab your bear spray, what does your arm do? It goes up in the air and that grizzly is going to grab a hold of that elbow. He's going to rip your arm right off. So um, when you have the bear spray on your chest and you're on the ground, you, your hands are right there. And then you can grab your bear spray and spray as best that you can. Spray yourself too if you have to. Uh, so I keep two cans, you know, one is a backup. So yes, I do have one on my hip, but this is the one that might primarily save me if I was, be, you know, if, if there was a grizzly or black bear that was attacking me. This is probably the one I would go to. So two, and then Kim carries one on her waist. She doesn't have a way to carry bear spray on her chest. When she had a camelback, she was carrying bear spray here on her chest too. All right, so there you go, tip for bear spray. Okay, so we got our bear spray, we've got all our safety equipment, we've got our rain gear. Uh, another thing that I like to use when I hike is an app called All Trails, and so I'm going to record our hike. So it's ready to go, it's recording, and we are ready to go. So you ready to have a beautiful hike? I'm ready. Alright, let's go. Let's go take a look at what we can find.
It's a nice place where we live, isn't it? It is. <laughs> Almost never fails that we see some moose here. Yeah, there's always moose here. Yeah. All right. Yeah, we were right on the trail. Yeah. Come on. Stu standing on the corner. So, all right, let's continue and see what else we can see. 